Hey YouTube, the mail just went. I'm going to be putting a new hard drive at a ROM board in this PC. I'm upgrading it from a 4 gigabyte RAM because they were supposed to have an 8. I don't know why in a factor they did that, but they did it. And I'm going to put a new 1 terabyte hard drive in it to get rid of the 256. Now, I already got it all undone, so I'm going to unplug everything here. You want to unplug all your cables. Okay. And I was going to do a crucial hard drive, but they went up sky high in price. So I had to get a mm -hmm. knee tech right here from Kentucky. I can sell on that, but you show me. Um, right here, I'll show you the parts before I begin. I'll go step by step. We got the hard drive ribbon cable. A new ATEC 8 gigabyte module DDR4 24 megahertz PC4 right there 1.2 volt. Now the um the 8 gigabytes good, but you gotta make sure it's 2400 for this computer. Now yours may be different. You could put less than this, but never put higher than the number it calls for because it can fry the motherboard. Okay, and I got the hard drive caddy right there. Okay, now some of your newer computers cannot be upgraded is because the hard drive is soldered to the board, not unless you got a soldering station and you can buy the hard drives. A lot of them are the 2.5 SATAs for the laptops, 3.5 SATAs for the desktops. Now the this hard drive will fit in a laptop or desktop, but if it's 3.5, the only way you can use it on a laptop if it's external because it'd be too fat too big to set inside of this all right so what you want to do is you don't want to power this off on the screen itself you want to only power it off by the power button right here itself because that discharges all the capacitors and everything in the pc now we're still going to take the battery out of this okay and I got the tools all right here, like needle nose if I need it. The spudgers, tweezers, screwdrivers, whatnot. The Windows 11 operating system right there. And I got the M2 board thing where I'm going to put the hard drive into it, kind of transfer the files. Okay. And I got alcohol cleaning pads. Spraying stuff to clean the base of the computer when I'm done. All that good crap. But the first thing we're going to do first, find a screwdriver here. Alright. And then we're going to take the screw out. First one. Now yours may not have this. A lot of computers, um, they do have, do not have the CD-ROM in them anymore. So we'll have to get rest of this apart, but these here should have five screws and uh, at least four screws in the rear here underneath this padding. Now you're going to have to peel these up. Now I wouldn't buy new stick on things like this they wear out because I tell you why they're expensive. I would just use like a, um, let me think, these rubber pads that have, um, on the back I'm like a 3M adhesive, but you can also so they don't come loose. Maybe use some Gorilla Glue to do it. I'm using just a magnetic tip screwdriver to pull these out with. That one screwdriver I used was not magnetic. If you can't get these strips back on, no big deal. Cause I'm gonna buy Mac. I'm gonna buy the strips any. I'm gonna buy the rubber pads later anyhow. Cause these are just a pain in the hind end. They will stick back on cause it's still got sticky stuff on them. Like I said, there's four screws in the rear. There's one right here in the middle. 
one here on the side. And then you gotta remove this front strip. And there should be two right here and one in the very front. And I'm not worried if I lose any of these screws. I got some down here, computer screws. One fell behind my desk, but I'll find it later because I do have a spare one. I keep always new ones around. One just flew off on me there. And that could happen. And this computer is paid off their show place, so I paid it off things last month, so we're good. And after you get the hard drive, after you get the disk drive out, then you got two ones here underneath. You slide that out, and you got two right here. Okay. And the reason being they don't make these disk drives anymore. Now, if you don't have one, it does. You can buy an external plugs into USB. I'm buying a Blu-ray player later to plug into this for about 80 bucks so I could transfer my freaking Blu-rays to it. But the one I have now, I play CD, DVD. Alright. Now we got all the screws out. Now we're going to lift this back upright. Gently. I mean gently. Take this prying tool. You can use a plastic one. It works pretty good. Now, some spots you can't use plastic. You can use a metal one. You just got to be careful. You got to make sure everything's unplugged. You got to go round and round about until everything unsnaps. trickier part is back here in these back corners. Make sure all the screws are out. Yep, they are. Sometimes you have to use two of these spudgers. I mean, you can use a flathead screwdriver to do it or like a credit card, but I really won't try to use much on screwdrivers until you get inside the PC. Just once you get past these back corners, it should be good. You should be able to hopefully peel it right off. I mean, unstick it. Mm -hmm. Just that back piece. Is all the screws out? Yes. There you go. You just have to wiggle and finagle.
Now we're inside the PC. Now the next thing you want to do, guys, um, and I don't care what anybody tells you, I'm telling this. Voice onto your damn battery, because if not, something could sort out. And you got arrows, okay, to tell you where all the batteries are at. Let me see here. Yours can have more or less. Mine has about, oh, about four screws, I think. There's your hard drive right there. That's the M2 board. We're replaced with a solid state. Uh, 2.5. There's your RAM card. Now, some has, darn can, some has a two RAM cards. Some has one slot. Of course, Lacey has to get in on the action. No, I'm just going to move it. All right. Now, let me clear out just one message because I want to take a picture of this here. I got it, Lacey. All right. I could help you if you need it. Report spam. You never. Reason why I'm taking a picture of this real quick before I disable this phone. Um, reason why he is doing it is for he knows where everything goes. P no, for part numbers too, like if and, I need a battery. And part numbers and different things too. But if you don't know where anything goes, take a picture. The guys are out there taking pictures of food and everything like that. And body shots for dates. Take the most important. So you know where everything goes. <laughs> oh, I know where everything goes. I just did that. I know, but... Like, and if you don't feel comfortable doing this, take it to a computer shop, have it done, or bring it to somebody like me to do it. I just lift out the battery like so. Okay. Now the RAM card is easy. You pull metal pins out. It slides right out like a cassette. I got your RAM card sitting there. Alright, looking for another one here. Uh -oh. Nope, that ain't it. I'm looking. That'd be in my cave. No, not there. Yeah, right there. Thanks. I told you, I knew it. Probably now, be when I do this me. video later on, give me one to two weeks. To do a live video for you. Because I will do a video review on the ATAC. Okay, ATAC. That's the one I chose and it was only like 18 bucks on eBay. Can you stick the other RAM card in there? I'm sticking it down. And this is a two... Uh, let me think here. This only goes on one way. Um, this is like a 260 pin. So what you want to do is make sure it slid in. And you take it, make sure both tabs, you hear that click, make sure both tabs are un and locked because if not, your RAM will not show up and your computer may not function. But what the RAM is, I got wrote down here, okay, for some different things. The RAM part of it, the initials is random access memory stores the short term data. ROM is reads only memory. Now there is different RAMs out there, so there are different variations. So you can look them up online to find out the variations. Now the hard drive we're gonna remove here. Let me see here. One screw there. Alright, I'm gonna say these screws just lay out there. And that's the M2 right there, okay. And you're like little sticky things here. Yeah. It's on there. So we're just going to peel this little tape back. Okay. 
Now let me see, there's a spudger light for electrical. Don't break these doggone little doors. You have to ever so slightly gentle. We're going to lay this to the side. That order, don't lose nothing. And I'm going to use that my part here, so don't run off of that. I don't know. I'm just saying that. that Here's time. a new hard drive. I already checked it, inspected it. And I will do a review on this too once I get it running. Give me at least one to three weeks, like I said on the RAM board I just installed. Right there is neat tech. I just put that back down in your thing. Alright. Well, I just got that scoop. I can't. Alright. Now this hair goes in only one way. These black tabs here is always front of the RAM. Or front of the hard drive. Sorry, RAM. I'm alright. And you just put these little rubber tabs in the screw holes on the side. Only reason why I'm doing this, like this, but well, you won't lose it till you ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being that bit helpful. And it's going to be sitting down in this, too. Yeah. You got this lined up there. Takes a while because we're ready to brand new. I got it, Lacey. And you should not go nowhere if you do them right. Let me get it, Lacey. She's holding her hand no. up. It feels like I'm rushing here. I was going to say, maybe try to turn it around. No, you cannot. That's what I'm telling you. If you're going to be a tech, you got to do this right and think right. No, I thought... The... Whereas if you turn it around, it will be backwards. Because these kick-out plates have oh. to be in the back. That's what I told you. Trust me, I'll put enough satyrs in. It's just where they're new, sometimes they're hard to get in. Why every time you're on video, that's when this happens. I think it just does that. Oh, he's a boo boo. Just where things new, guys. If they got the holes lined up right, is another thing.
there. Yeah, I got it best I can there. Um, then we used a hard drive ribbon cable. Now you, the small end goes with the small, big goes with the big. They're, they're L shaped. But what you want to do is put this, point this ribbon cable down, and what you want to do is put these kickout plates. Down like this. There we go. Now you just put this ribbon down with the blue part up. Actually, this one here with the blue down. Put your door shut and it will lock. That's in there. Some are down and some are up. I had to relock. And you just put the ribbon tape back, piece of tape back over it to hold it. Alright, now the next thing we do is install the battery. Okay. I had to stuff it in there because it was new. There's only four screws in your ba my battery, or could be more or less in yours, it depends. Usually starts with four screws. They don't have to be traumatically tight. Just after you get them all seated, you just want to go over them one more time is all. Alright, so that's done. Let's see, here's one. Like that. Alright, got it all. There we go. Yep, that hard drive ain't going nowhere. Now what we want to do... Put the back back on. So you want to open your screen just a little bit to help get this on right. All your screws back in. Like I said, these don't have to be real tight. You just check them once. After you get them in, you just do it once over quickly. 
You don't want to bust none of the standoffs or not because those are plastic. I got the ROM screws put in first. Now I'm going to put the ROM drive in here. I'm going to put all the screws in slightly. Okay. That's all right, I'm on camera. They're getting ready to work on electric guys around here, so I'm trying to hurry up. Because I won't lose camera power, but I could lose power to put my computer back together. Of all days, right? You put these three in the back here. Well, four, but I got to find one because I dropped one, but that's okay. I'll free find it. I know roughly what kind it is, so that's no big deal. I'll find it. I'll just put it back in my case. All right. I still have to touch it. That's All right. I know. I got this. It's just me out here. Going over everything once over here. This is so tight here. And I keep a big box of screws like this around. Like this with computer screws, okay? I just gotta figure out which one is which. This could be the one here. It don't have to be a black one, but. Right, yep, I had a perfect fit. Screw the screw. Now I'm going to try to figure out which strip is which. I think this might be the rear. Well, i got to figure this out. It's never easy to get these put on. I'm just going to throw these strips away because they're unsticky, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to buy some rubber pads later and put on the bottom. Make sure I got no screw there. Everything is good. I gotta wipe down the computer now. I mean, everything inside was clean, so I didn't have to spray anything by pure luck. Sorry about the noise, guys, right here working. We don't know what they're getting ready to do, but they have one of them left. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. You're probably here. I don't know what they have. Does that hurt? Yeah, I do. We got power, but we ain't got the screen on yet. Oh, there it goes.
put the operating system here in a few. It has to go through all this crap, guys. It's working, but. I've rebooted. When I get everything done later, I'll wipe off the alcohol pads and some rags and stuff. I gotta wait till it's boots. Because it could take a while to boot in, but it's working, guys. I hope the operating system is down because I just had to re enter it. But you can show it's working. You point the camera up a little bit. There you go. I'm going to take the RAM board and place it in here after I get the little screw out. Hang on. That's contained my file, so no, I'm not going to reformat it. All you need is just this little screw to set it in with that, that little furrow nut. I need to be real tight. Just put it back together and that'd be it then. That's why I'll have my files and stuff. Hmm. But I will do a review once I get everything set up on the need tech, hard drive, SATA 2.5, and the A tech ROM board.
As you can see, it's working, guys. I just gotta get the operating system and everything loaded, and we should be fine. But thanks for watching. I got to get everything set up. So that's how you get your hard drive in and your RAM and everything upgraded. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll upload the video as soon as I can today or tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.